Hello, my name is Ricardo and today I am here to show you how to integrate Google Drive with your Out Systems environment. I am going to show you what you need to configure in your Google accounts, uh, what Google APIs and application you need to consume from the Forge, and the integration you will need to do, and some small things you need to be careful when doing the integration. The Google account configuration is pretty simple. You need a Google account. This one is the one you want to share the drive. Uh, you need to activate the Google Drive API. Retrieve your application ID, application secret and API keys. The application secret is called as well um, client secret. Uh, and you need to fill in the configuration data which I'm going to show you right now in the, the demo. In this site, it's the Google Cloud Platform and the, it's where we're going to activate the Google Drive API and configure every, every link and every thing about our connection. To get to this page, you need simple to simply search on Google for Cloud Platform and they automatically give us this page when you, where you click cons console and automatically you are here and you can start and move around and activate everything you need for this integration. In this integration first we are going to activate the Google Drive. The Google Drive API is pretty simple, just simple click enable. Uh, what will it do? It's, it's first. It's going to configure and create the simple things you need for the Google Drive API. It will create you already a project, so you don't have to to create by yourself. And uh, it gives you the page that you need to that you are going to to use to create credentials and the authorization for the user. In this page, you already have some traffic by response code that will give you some metrics uh, if you are interested and worried about them. Uh, but to continue our integration, we're going to follow by create credentials. On creating credentials, you're going to show Google Drive API. Next, web server. And what data will be assessing its user data? Now, this one depends on what you prefer, but we're going to go for user data. Now, I'll ask what credentials do I need? It's going to tell you to set up a constant screen. We are going to click to open the page, but not going there right now. In here, you're going to put your domain, for example, mine. It's eruption.pt and this one it's a pretty it's pretty simple link but you need to make sure it's correct so the, the authorization goes well it doesn't go to the wrong page or to a known link so the, the Google don't, doesn't doesn't recognize uh, in this one you're going to put your domain slash your G drive connector. This is the, the application we are going to consume from the, the the forge, and it will automatically automatically know which application to to call back and do a logic behind it. Uh, so this is the link and the domain you need to make sure. Make sure the domain it's your domain, not this one. This is an example. I'm going to refresh. It's going to ask you again to set up a consent pay screen and now you're going for that step. In here, for example, I'm going to show internal, which is for only my organization that are able to connect with my drive. Uh, if you choose external, every Google any Google account can can connect this internal, only your your organization organization can connect. Following by create, then here you're going to make sure you put a 
a name in this case I'm going to put autism connector uh, you can upload a logo if you want and simply click save that's all you need from here if you want to edit later you can come here and edit app and make sure you change anything you want going back to the the page of the, the credentials now you can click click refresh and automatically it knows that you created an OAuth uh, consultation screen now you create the OAuth client ID and automatically gives you an ID make sure you you save this this client ID because you're going to need it for for the integration to connect the the application with Google Drive so it knows which drive it's going to connect to you can download the file if you want and it's going to give you a JSON format file with everything about your credentials and information uh, click done if you don't want, don't want to download and here you already know that you created a, a client IDs uh, a web. In this case, I didn't put a, uh, a name, so I can put come here and put out systems connector and click save. So you now know which which uh, client IDs so that you have here. Here you have client ID and the client secret that I told you before. That was application secrets. But they can be called as well client secret. Now, what you need to do is create an API key so you can connect your application to the right drive and make sure that nothing goes wrong. So, the things you need to save is the API key, the client ID, and the client secret. These are the three most important things you need from here so after you're done with your Google configuration uh, you only need to consume the application from the forge and to get this application you simply go to the forge it can be on your studio or website simply go by searching Google Drive click search and you'll have this one called Google Drive connector for, by Autism MVPs you go in there and you will have here a button to install I have already installed in my environment so this is a bit different if you have any question about it you have the documentation button here and on the side it's a tab a section over over details and so on uh, and you have everything step by step what you need to do even the Google configuration just showed you after installing it, you'll have an application like this, Google Drive Connector on your environment. You can go there and see any action with the, all the logic it has to consume and use for the, your apps. You simply on your app consume from here and you'll, you'll have everything you need. You can, for example, the file copy, uh, the file create, create folder, delete, the get files it is uh, the action that gets the, all the files from the drive um, the authorization that, that was the this is the, the action that makes sure your user is connected and it's authorized to use your drive and so on so after checking every action that you wanted and see any logic that you wanted uh, you only need to make sure on your integration that you need to be careful on a simple step on your landing page or the page that you're going to consume all the APIs and everything like that uh, you only need to make sure that the user that is using the application is authorized and if not that is re redirected to authorization page so you can be authorized by Google to, to connect your drive to do that, you need to consume two things from the, the, the application from the forge that we installed, which is the authorization is authorized, and this destination here 
a handle no access. Uh, what is make is this one, the authorization is authorized, uh, will check by an API if the user is authori authorized. Um, after that, we made you, you would simply put it here uh, if without put of the action to see if authorized or not. And if not, it goes to the destination that redirects the user to an authorization page. And after it's a Google page, uh, a simple authorization page like signing in in a new site uh, with a Google account. Uh, so it's perfect safe and it's made by Google. After that, after authorization, the, the authorization, uh, the user is redirected again to your application, and this action will already say true, it's authorized. So after that, you can use any action that you want and do everything you want and need to do with your Google Drive. You simply consume from the application from the Forge that we installed, and that's all. Thanks for watching.